Tim Southey joins us. Thrilling it was. Look, I don't know if there's ever such a thing as a perfect performance, but that was as close as you'd get, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was pretty uh, pretty clinical performance from, from everyone. So as far as I guess games I've been a part of, it was um, yeah, all three facets of the game were, were pretty pretty clinical. So did you just say that it's one of the best or if not the best performance you've been part of? Yeah, it was one of the best. I think um, just I guess you come into a, a world event like this and it's always nice to start. Um, start with a, a strong performance and I think um, yeah, the way that Finn Allen and Devin Conway sort of um, started and then we sort of never really looked back from there. Look, Finn Allen just seemed unburdened by, I don't know, history or playing in Australia. It was just such positive front foot cricket. Yeah, I think you see that's the way he plays and um, it's the way he's been encouraged to play um, at this level. So yeah, he's, uh, he started off well, and it's great to see a, a young guy be able to go out and, I guess, uh, have his show show what he's capable on on in, in, in a world in his first World Cup. Tim Southey is with us, and when you you know you, you you think that that's the first time we've won any contest in Australia since the Hobart Test. I mean, that's just mind blowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's a very tough place to come and play. They've obviously been a, a very very good cricket side for a for a long period across all three formats and um, we're not, yeah, it's a, it's a very tough place to come and come and play cricket and a tough place to come and win cricket. So, um, yeah, we've been on the on the wrong side of a, a number of games in that, time, in, the, in that time. So what do you remember back from 2011 in Hobart? Do you remember that test clearly? Yeah, I think uh, all the guys involved in that will, uh, will be one of the games that they'll remember um, purely for the fact that it is such a tough place to come and play and and for us to win that match was um, was was pretty special, and one of the the test wins that I'm sure the guys will remember uh, for a long time. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of help in the wicket, um, but I think we lost the toss from uh, from memory. So yeah, it was uh, we had to, I guess, um, yeah, just play some good cricket throughout that time, and had a couple of great performances um, through that test match with Doug Bracewell, um if it was a ball, and um, yeah, a few others sort of chipping in with um, with valuable runs. Um, was uh, yeah, it was just a, a, another great, uh, great moment to be a part of. So going out and playing at the SCG, first up, first match of well, not the, the pre-tournament tournament had been going on, but this is the first match with the group stage of the T20 World Cup. Did you talk much about them as an opponent, or did you, or do you just look at it in terms of look? Okay, we're playing the yellow shirts today. We've got the green shirts tomorrow. We've got the white shirts tomorrow. How do you how, how do you how do you get your heads around it? Uh, yeah, well, obviously the nature of the tournament you're playing, it's different to your bilateral series where you play someone three or five times in a in a short space of time and here you chop and change your, your opposition um, within a few days. So it's just it was about uh, playing against Australia and, and and that was our first first uh, first game. Um, guys are excited about you turn up to world events. Um, it's a, a special occasion, so guys are excited and we're pretty keen to keen to get into it um, but yeah it's, it's, uh, it was a great way to start and I guess now our, our focus shifts to to, uh, to Afghanistan at the MCG yeah well, that's the thing I mean they come such thick and fast don't they did you want to did you want to bat first against Aussie um, I guess with the there's a lot of weather around uh, leading into the game um, the pitch had been under covers for a while um, and then once I guess you saw the wicket was pretty good, it didn't really. I don't think it really mattered what what we did. Um, there was there was rain forecast, so I guess um, batting second, you sort of get a bit of bit of an advantage of if, if the rain does come. So yeah, it was. I don't think it was it was uh, um, the toss was a was a big big factor. I think um, it was a pretty good wicket wicket throughout. Tim, does it feed on itself? Like once one of your players goes out there and he plays like Finnell and then Conway did. I mean, does that feed on itself? Does it? Do you kind of just do you get overcome by the adrenaline of the occasion, or is it easy just to kind of separate? Um, yeah, I guess when you go out there and you have a start like that, and um, the guys sort of sort of build on the back of it, um, and and yeah, I think what, what sort of see the guys sort of go through, and even I think. Uh, Jimmy Neesham's little hand at the end um, to get us up to 200 was was um, was a massive part of that as well. So yeah, I think the guys just sort of fed off the the um, I guess the start that we had, um, and then with the ball we knew that it was going to be hard. It was obviously a good wicket, um, but if we could have take wickets like we did throughout, then it, I guess it stalled their their moment, momentum and they weren't able to to form any sort of partnership throughout. Is it always good getting David Warner? 
yeah, he's uh, he's a phenomenal player, and I think someone that could have probably better through the the twenty overs and, and played a similar role to to what Devon did, and then obviously all their their big power hitters around it. So he was a yeah, he was a big wicket, and I got a little bit lucky on on that one. So um, it's always nice to see see the back of him in any format because he is such a such a dangerous player. I, mean, I don't want to talk too much about them, but they didn't have Steve Smith playing. Now they're crying out for him to come back into the side. <laughs> the key to this, though, is that you know you lose a game in this group stage and then you're really up against it. I mean, so that's why you've got to bury that one as quick as possible, don't you? Afghanistan, a completely new and different challenge. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, a great way to start the tournament, but um, and we enjoyed um, obviously the first game, but our focus the last couple of days has been been how we prepare and get ready for, for a different challenge and, and a very good Afghanistan, Afghanistan side. They've got some some great, uh, some great, ball. Um, and it's uh, the nature of this tournament. There's no, there's no easy games, and, and nature of this format that anyone can beat anyone on their day. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what makes this tournament so exciting, and, and such a, yeah, the short nature of it makes it um, even more exciting. Have you really noticed that? Has the gap closed between all the teams? I mean, I was watching last night, and the Dutch were playing Bangladesh, and I was thinking, you know, a couple of things go your way. One guy gets a good innings. I mean, you know, it just it just seems that it appears that the gap is shut or is closing. Do you do you, do you think it is? Uh, yeah, I think with the shorter nature of the game as well, you're only a couple of overs away from. Um, changing the game. So, yeah, I think the other sides, it brings everyone closer together, the, the shorter the format. Uh, we saw in the in the, in the earlier stages of the tournament with the, with the side like the West Indies not making it through and, and other sides tipping other sides up. It's just, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, just the, there's, you're only a couple of overs away from, from changing the game. So, um, like I guess that's what makes T20 cricket uh, that little bit more exciting. I don't know if the MCG is going to rock and roll like it did for India Pakistan the other night. Did you did you watch that? It was wild. Yeah, it was. We we're in we we're in Melbourne at the time, and we're not staying far away from the stadium, so you could actually hear the hear the cheers and the roars from from the like a, a phenomenal atmosphere and um, and a and a uh, and an, an exciting game of cricket. So yeah, uh, yeah, I guess the the start of the, the start of the tournament sort of. Um, there's been plenty of excitement, so hopefully that can, can continue throughout the next couple of weeks. Do you look to do you look further ahead than the next game, or is it really just about the next opponent, or do you look two games in advance? How do you do it? I don't think you can afford to look too far ahead. I think you look at the next uh, the next opponent, um, and that's Afghanistan for us. So then um, after that, you then your, your focus shifts to the next game, um, and uh, I think that's the, the only way you can sort of approach these these tournaments. They happen so quickly; you can't afford to look look too far ahead. Is that, was there any revenge from last year from losing that final to Australia, or doesn't it really count because it's a it's a it's a pool match? You'd rather get them in the later stage of the tournament or beat them in the final if you're actually talking about getting revenge. I don't think there's any talk of revenge or anything. You you turn up and and whoever you're playing, you're trying to you're trying to win. Um, you're trying to focus on what you're trying to do as a side. I think you can get caught up in a lot of uh, external noise and and other things that actually take away. Um, the focus of what you're trying to achieve. So no, we just we just attacked it as a, a exciting um, start of a tournament playing against Australia to a packed out SCG. And what about the catching though? The, the fielding was brilliant, wasn't it? I mean, obviously everyone's talking about Glenn Phillips, but I thought you were all brilliant in the field. Actually, I don't think we put anything down, did we? Uh, no, it's something that we obviously pride ourselves on um, is the way we field and. And we're a little bit off in the in the tri series against uh, Bangladesh. All right. Well, look, we thank you so much. Three for six yourself off uh, two point one. It's not bad bowling, is it? So, all the very best. Let's do it again against Afghanistan. Talk later in the tournament. Thank you, mate. As always. Cool. Thanks very much.